Okay, this is lab 6.4.8. We are going to troubleshoot IP configuration. So let's see, the network is connected to the internet and uses DHCP to assign addresses. The employees accessing the IT admin and Office 2 computers report that their workstations can communicate with some computers on the network, but cannot access the internet. You need to diagnose and fix the problem. Okay, so let's start with, we need to go to the Office 2 computer. So I'm gonna right click and launch Windows. And we're going to use ping and IP config to test connectivity and gather information. Okay, so let's look here. So first of all, let's see, I don't have internet access. You can see that by hovering over my little network icon. So I'm going to right click and open up the terminal in admin mode just to get in here. And so let's start pinging stuff. So I have my list of things down here in the bottom corner. I'm going to start with myself. So I'm going to do an IP config. If I type it incorrectly, it works better. IP config. So I am 192.168.0.34. You always want to start local and then work your way up. So I'm going to ping myself 192.168.0.34. That was successful. Okay, so let's go the next step out. Let's see, can I ping the corp server? You know, one thing I wanna check real quick is, am I using DHCP as well? Since we're looking at this. Okay, so DHCP is enabled. Got that. My auto config, so I have my address, the subnet mask, this default gateway is set to 0 0.4. That might not be correct. I'm gonna jump back to my network modeler real quick and see my next hop should be 0 0.5. Okay, so I think that's our problem. We need to fix that in our DHCP server, but I'm just gonna ping some other stuff just to see what else we have. So I'm gonna ping the corp server that's successful. I'm going to ping IT admin. That was successful. And now I'm going to ping the ISP, which is 198.28.2.254. See, that fails. If I do a trace route to that, so hit my up arrow, I'm going to go trace route. Yeah, and that all fails. And I'm pretty sure that's because of the our DHCP server is not handing out the right default gateway. Okay, so let's answer these questions. Which of these failed? Corp server worked, IT admin worked, I pinged myself that worked, the ISP did not work. Okay, the IP address of the default gateway assigned to Office 2, and I did the IP config all, it showed me that. So my I default gateway is .4 which I probably jumped ahead of things, but that's just what happens. So we got dot four. Okay, so from the IT admin computer, we're going to do the same thing and answer questions again. So I'm gonna jump back to the network modeler. We're gonna do IP admin, even though I think I know the problem, but let's just check here. So. First, look at, okay, so I have no internet access. I'm gonna right click on the start button and go into the terminal. You can also come down in the search and type shell and that will get you into the PowerShell as well. So I'm gonna do an IP config slash all and let's see what we've got here. So it is also using DHCP. We've got an address, 24 bit mask and you can see it's using dot four as its default gateway but it wants us to ping some stuff. So we're gonna go to question three. Again, it wants us to ping everything. So I'm gonna do ping. I'm gonna ping myself first, which is, I'm 192.168.0.31. So ping 
168.0.31. That's successful. Now I'm going to ping, let's do the corp server. That was successful. Office 2. And that was successful, but the ISP, I'm willing to bet, it's going to fail again. 198.28.2.254. Yep, and that failed. So same thing as on Office 2. Okay, and we already looked. It's that same default gateway, the 192.168.0.4. Okay, so let's look. What does it want us to do before question five? Now we're going to do all of this again over on the corp server. So I'm going to launch Windows on the corp server. And let's check here. This one does have internet access. Okay. So let's right click on the start button and go into the PowerShell and admin mode. Let's do IP config slash all. Let's take a look, and this one, if I scroll up here to the virtual Ethernet external, I'm going to come up here and, yeah, I think we're going to use the virtual Ethernet external. I think this is running as a virtual machine. So DHCP is no, which means we're manually configured. And we've got the same subnet mask, but the default gateway is dot five. All right, so um, we probably need to ping everything again just because, so that it's happy. So ping IT admin. That works because we're on the same network. We have the same subnet mask. We're in the same network. I bet I can ping Office 2 as well. Yep, that works. And now let's ping the ISP 98.28.2.254. And that's successful. Okay, so let's look at question five. What do you see here that might explain why this computer can access the internet, but Office 2 and IT admin can't? It's because the default gateway is different. So now we're going to fix the problem. So we're going to go to the DHCP server. So corp DHCP, I'm going to launch the windows and I'm going to go tools, DHCP, look at my IPv4 scope and let's pick the right scope. So the 192.168 Going to expand that. It's the zero. That's our network scope options router. So I double clicked, sorry, I'm going kind of fast, I know. Scope options, and then I double clicked on router. That's also AKA our default gateway. And you can see this is wrong, the FDOT4. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to change the four to a five. Click add and apply and okay. Okay, so that's fixed. What we might need to do now is force the two, the Office 2 and the IT admin to renew their DHCP lease. So I'm going to get back in here to Office 2, go back into the shell. So right click and go to terminal. And let's do an IP config slash all and just see if it got it by on its own. It did not. Okay, so I'm going to do an IP config slash renew. And now you can see the default gateway is dot five. So I should be able to ping the ISP now. 198.28.2.254, successful. And this guy still says no internet access, but it does, we've got it, right? We can ping out to the ISP now. So I'm going to do the same thing on IT admin. I'm going to launch Windows. I still have this up, so I'm going to do an IP config. Hit my up arrow, 
and do IP config renew. And now I have a dot five for my default gateway. Yeah, this is not updating very fast, but it should work. I'm gonna check my answers, let's see. All right, we're good to go.